Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more normal form in the normalization that is a third normal form. We call it as a 3NF. So which is a third normal form. So in the previous sessions, we have discussed about the first normal form and the second normal form. And what is the input for this third normal form? <clears throat> the input for third normal form is the relation should be in 2NF. Should be in 2NF. So you need to refer the previous sessions. So how the relation can be in 2NF. Right? And if the relation should be in 2NF, first the relation should be in 1NF. So you need to follow the normalization from the beginning. Right. So why we are moving to the normalization? So what is a 1NF? What is a 2NF? And then you have to refer this third normal form. Right. What is the output for this one? Relation in 3NF. So when we call it as a, uh, a relation should be in 3NF, what are the conditions? So what are the conditions need to satisfy? if the relation should be in 3NF. The first and foremost condition is, so the relation should be in 2NF. That is a normal uh, one, okay, the first condition. And the second condition, there should be no transitive dependencies. Transitive dependencies. for non prime attributes non prime attributes so we need to understand what is the transitive dependency and what are the non prime attributes right so already we have discussed the same in the previous sessions in the functional dependency concept right so once you have to go through that particular video also so for that purpose i'll post the complete playlist in the description section so visit that one so learn the functional dependencies and uh, what are the non prime attributes and a prime attributes so that uh, you can understand this video very clearly so i will i will explain you at a glance what is a transitive dependency so this transitive dependency means for example if you are having a, any functional dependencies like x tends to y and y tends to z then automatically x tends to z is also in functional dependency. So if both the functional dependencies f x tends to y and y tends to z then obviously this x tends to z will also be the functional dependency. Okay. So we have to avoid such things only for the non-prime attributes. Okay. Not for all the attributes. We have to search for the non whether any non-prime attribute is having this transitive dependency. Now what is this non-prime attribute? So these non-prime attributes are the attributes attributes of a candidate key sorry attributes of uh, candidate key are called prime attributes and attributes not in a candidate key attributes not in a candidate key are called non prime attributes so you, if the candidate key, I mean, if the candidate key is having uh, an, any attributes, those attributes we call as a prime attributes. So we have to identify the non-prime attributes. That means the attributes which are not in a candidate key. Okay. So there should not be the transitive dependency for this particular non-prime attributes. And in this another way, and the another way we can say it as, so if x tends to y, is a functionally dependent so x should be x should be the primary key and y should be y should be part of candidate key candidate key 
right so if y is part of candidate key we can call this y as a prime attribute we can call this y as a prime attribute okay so x is a super key uh, i mean primary key so primary key here means with by knowing x we can get all the details of all the other attributes the details of all other attributes right so these two are the major conditions need to need to be satisfied if the relation is in what, 3nf if you want to check whether the relation is in 3nf the first one is should be in 2nf and no transitive dependencies for all the non prime attributes so first we need to find the non prime attributes and we have to identify whether they are involving in the transitive dependency or not so for this i will take a small and simple example so that you can understand these two conditions uh, clearly right so let us take this example so this is a relation so regarding the student enrolled for the course and this relation is having the three attributes student id course and the fee course fee now you can observe the functional dependencies so student id tends to course so is it a valid functional dependency you can see so there is a unique student id so with the help of student id we can get both course and fee okay once again i'm repeating so there is no repetition of student id so 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so it is a unique so obviously by knowing student id we can get all the details of remaining columns so this is the one functional dependency so student id determines both the course and fee and similarly obviously student id tends to course and student id tends to fee so obviously the remaining with the combination of this one student id comma course will give the fee student id comma fee will give the course will give the course right now so obviously this will be the candidate key and also super key right so candidate key is also the same thing right candidate key is a minimal set of super key and student id is a super key student id is a super key because by knowing uh, this super key i mean this is a primary key okay primary key or a super key whatever it may be it's a primary key so by knowing this student id we can determine both the values so this will be the primary key so obviously the minimal set of uh, primary key is a candidate key so there is only one attribute so this is also candidate key this is also a candidate key obviously student id course is also a candidate key but we can't consider this one because already the student id is a minimal set of prime uh, primary key so this will be the candidate key right so next uh, uh, let us check with the uh, one more uh, functional dependencies that course determines the fee so whether we have to check whether this functional dependency is right or not so according to our previous uh, uh, explanation that means what is a functional dependency we need to check one condition so that is we have to or uh, consider randomly two tuples and we have to find the x values if both x values are equal then automatically the corresponding y values are also should be equal then only we can say it as a functionally dependent now course and fee we can check so there are uh, let us take uh, see this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so consider 1 and 5 uh, so consider 1 and 5 so in both x values are java java corresponding columns 20000 and uh, fifth one 20000 yes both x values are equal y values are equal so we can say this is as a functionally dependent next let us check one more c let us check c there is any any other uh, uh, tuple with a c no go to the c++ yes so there is another c++ then the corresponding y value should be equal 
so first for the third triple third triple the y value is 15000 and for the eighth triple the y value is 15000 yes right next go with the python yes there is a one more column with the same name corresponding y values both are equal so we can consider course as a fee course uh, it can determine the fee right and you can observe here what we have to do so we have to check whether there are no transitive dependencies for the non prime attribute so here you can see course is a non prime attribute because the candidate key is having only one attribute so that will be the prime attribute so obviously this will be the prime attribute prime attribute so obviously the course and fee are the non prime attributes so here we are having a functional dependency which is a non prime attribute non prime attribute right so obviously we can say this relation is not in 3 and because here non prime attribute here we are having a non prime attribute and see as we have said that if x tends to y so x should be super key or a primary key and y should be part of candidate key part of candidate key so here you can observe course x is course course is not a primary key and y phi phi is not a part of candidate key so obviously there is a problem and in other words we can say see with the help of student id we can get a course we can determine the course and with the help of course we can determine phi which is a transitive dependency which is a transitive dependency you can observe from student id we can determine the course and with the course we can determine the fee and course is not a part of candidate key so it is a non prime attribute right so obviously there will be a transitive dependency so we have to remove this transitive dependency so we have to decompose this table so that this particular condition becomes false there will be no transitive dependency now how we can <coughs> decompose the first table will be consists of two attributes one is a student id and a course and the second table with a course and fee so automatically there will be no transitive dependency L let us write down this one Okay, hope you understood this one. So write down all the functional dependencies and find out whether any functional dependency is having the x value as a non-prime attribute. Now, after decomposing, we have to avoid that one. So after decomposing, the student ID and course will be the one table and the course and the fee will be another table. So 101, 102, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So the course will be Java, C, C++, Python, Java, Python, Java, and C++. So this is one table. This is one table. Right? And the second table, so this is a table 1, second table course, so write down Java, C, C++ and Python. So for Java, the fee 20,000, C it is uh, 10,000, C++ it is uh, 15,000 and Python it is uh, 25,000. So this is a one more table. Here you can observe there is no redundancy in this table so previously we are having some eight tuples but here in the table one we are having eight tuples and table two we are having only four tuples so you can say this relation is not in 3nf and this is in 3nf because there is no transitive dependencies right so this is how we we have to convert the uh, non third normal form to third normal form.
right so once again i'm repeating so third normal form in order to say the relation is in 3 and f so we have to check for two conditions one is whether the whether, whether the relation is in 2 and f and the relation doesn't have any non prime attributes as a transitive dependencies right so i will post the complete playlist in the description section so just go through and uh, understand what is a functional dependencies and what are the types of functional dependencies and what is a 1 nf what is a 2 nf and then this uh, particular video will be very clear for you right so let's stop here and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much